court has been huge in the Western Conference semifinal between the Mavericks and the Suns. Basically, the home team has dominated the series. There have only been two margins of single digits. The closest of those was game one. But you see what the two teams are winning by. An average of 19 per game on Dallas's home floor for the Mavericks. An average of better than 15 a game for the Suns so far in their three wins. Um, before we get to what happens in game seven, how surprised are you, if at all, that Phoenix is even in this position, given the way they dominated the regular season? Very surprised. Um, and, and it's almost shocking because you, you look at, you know, Dallas has, you know, made changes throughout the regular season. Um, and a new coach with Jason Kidd, new staff. And then Luca like, has become like, we knew he was good. As a matter of fact, we knew he was better than good. But now he's better than that. <laughs> you know, what he's doing in this series is just there's no player that he fears on the Phoenix Suns, and there's no player that he believes that can guard him. And if they don't double-team him, he feels like whoever is on him, big, small, little, he is physically going to exploit. And he has. And in terms of the Suns, what, do you, what vulnerabilities do you think have been exposed here by this, this Maverick series? The, the last four games, uh, you know, Chris Paul, you know, averaging nine points, six assists, four turnovers. After uh, being great in the first two, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it has been, has been shocking uh, because he's, he's never had any type of performances like this, you know, three, four games in a row. Right. And to see him being... You know, defended the way he's defended, playing the way he's playing. And in a game seven, you're going to need to lean on him to be significantly much better. Because in game sevens, your your best players, they got to show up. But also your best leaders got to show up. And when your best leaders are your best players, then they're expected to, you know, score a little bit more, take on a little bit more of the burden to make it easier for the role players. And Chris Paul, this is a huge night for him because he's got to score the basketball, I think, in in my opinion, for Phoenix to win. Luka Doncic, last time he had a game seven was last year. They lost the game. He went for 46, had 14 assists. What will they need from him, if not numerically, what will they need for for him to buck this home court trend in this series? Well, you know... They say uh, n- uh, naive is bliss, right? Be- being naive is, is bliss. And, and Luca-, Luca is 23. So he doesn't know, like, okay, this is supposed to be pressure. He's like, this is fun. You know, I'm, I'm having a good time. Oh, he was having you a know. blast last night. <laughs> yeah, guys are trash talking. You yeah. know, this, this is great. Now, 28-year-old Luca is going to be like, well, you know, this is a very serious game, and we got to win this game. 23-year-old Luca is like, hey, Game seven, bring it on. I'm having fun. His team is loose. They got a coach and, and Jason Kidd who has allowed them to have a, you know, a loose atmosphere. He's expected more yep. from, from the other role players. So it's, it's um, you know, Luca's done a great job in leading his team, but also he's done a great job in not understanding the enormity of the moment by being so young. Yep, he's down for all that. He's down for the talk as well. Oh, yeah. He's, it's okay by him. No pressure on the Mavericks at this point. No one expected them to make the Western Conference Finals. Everybody expected Phoenix to at least make the Western Conference Finals. Who do you like in Game 7? I, you know, I, I like Phoenix at home. Um, they, they've earned it. They've been the best team. I expect them to come out and win. However, I do remember that Golden State team back in the day with Don Nelson and mm-hmm. Tim Hardaway. Did they upset Utah or was it uh, Seattle? But somebody they beat and they wasn't supposed to beat. We could be watching this again.